right now uh, I'm gonna teach you how you can uh, plug in your DJ controller to uh, your laptop now I know some of you are gonna be like well how do you do that I mean like all right, why don't you just buy a DJ controller that already has a USB compatible that you know you can already hook up to a laptop like you can hook it up to Serato to itch virtual DJ or tractor or anything like that well I'll tell you why it's because there's some people that don't have the right tables it's not USB compatible like mine my tables are not USB compatible I bought the wrong ones I thought it was I thought all of them were well I was done back then so I've had these tables for um, about a year almost a year now and they've um, I've been using this little process right here um, this little um, set setup I'm about to show you and I used it at my last gig which was yesterday and it performed phenomenally it was awesome it's, it's good if you know how to if you grew up with digit if you you know grew up with digital DJing like I did um, you know you started out with digital DJing you know you always, you always used a computer you know use the use the laptop or something like that that's what I grew up with now I had previous tables or Hercules Hercules tables. Hercules turntables are about maybe from here to here, about that big. Little tiny controller, good for beginners. So. All right, so now um, enough of that. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to tell you the materials that you need. First thing you need is you need um, an external USB sound card audio interface. That's an audio interface. Is what it is. This in this one is a U Control Bell uh, Behring, uh, Behringer uh, UCA222. It's the newest one they came out with. Um, as you can see, the other ones I've seen they've been gray, but this one is a 222. It's a red color, and but it's the same thing. It's got a couple more things, and it's got optical and stuff. Okay. And it's still got the same output as that. And also, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need. Uh, one RCA cable, and this is an old one though, this is an old RCA cable from like the 90s or something You know, I was digging through my closet to find one of these and I found one So this is an old one, you know You guys really don't need high quality RCA cables that you use for like TVs or something But if you can afford them, go ahead and use them, but you know, you can just get away with using this kind And also you're going to need a 3.5 um, three, uh, A stereo jack that runs from RCA cable, so it has this at this it has this point at the end, and it has this point at the end. So you're gonna need one of those two. On the RCA cables that I said before, this is they have. You guys know what RCA cables are. If you're smart, so they have this at the end, and they have that at the end. So you're gonna need those three materials, and you're also going to need a laptop or a computer, and you're gonna need your DJ setup. Now this is my DJ setup. It is a Edison Professional Sketch 2500. Um, it is a, uh, you know, it was about, I came with the package, so, you know, it's it's a pretty good table, you know. If you don't like using a laptop, I recommend getting this, because it performs phenomenally, obviously. All right, so now I'm gonna teach you what to do. First off, you're going to need to take, all right, so I just pretty much just took everything apart and just found the bed so that you guys can see better. So obviously, you're gonna need a, a USB audio interface. I already said it before. Um, I know if you can't, if you don't like this, or you don't, if you can't afford it, um, I know Newmark makes one the DJIO, but get yourself one of these. Uh, get yourself one of these RCA cables. These you can buy like a, you know, like a cable this long, like a 10 pack or something, or five pack for like a couple of dollars at Radio Shack or Walmart or anything. Then you're gonna need one of these, and they do sell these and. Um, Radio Shack or something, but you you know you can get one of these for a couple of dollars. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your RCA cable and you're going to find your line cable. You're going to find your line setup. So as you can see right there, it says line one. So what you do is this this is the weirdest trick I have found. Now for you for everybody, this is how you do it right. You um, just make sure because my tables say are can switch you both switch to either one. So mine, I'm gonna switch it to line, and then you're gonna put plug them in, red to red, white to white, and then um, you're gonna take your other stereo jack, the one that has the jack in it, and you're gonna go over here, and you're gonna do the same thing, and then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna plug it in, okay. red to red. White to white. See if it's coming up. Okay. So you're just gonna do that. And it should look it's should that's how mine looks. 
but that's what it is though. It should look like uh, something like that, but you know, mine's are so close to each other. Anyway, now you're gonna take your sound card. You're gonna take your sound card. You're gonna take your other RCA cables, and you're gonna find the output. Every sound, every every one of these audio interfaces has an output. So it sees output. You're gonna plug it in. Uh, red to red. I mean, white to white. And red to red. So it should look like that. And then, you know, volume and optical output. And make sure that if yours has a little monitor right here, you switch it to on. So switch it to on. And that's pretty much how it should look like. That's how mine looks like. Now, the weirdest thing I found when I was doing this for the first time is I plugged it in like this and it didn't work that well. So I, I plugged it in wrong by doing this. I just plugged it in the opposite way and it worked good. So if you if your guys stuff it doesn't work at the end of this video, try plugging it the other way because it might work. That's what it does for me. All right, so what you're gonna do, take the USB end of this, plug it into your laptop or computer, and take this end and plug it into your headphone jack, which is this. And then what you are going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up in Virtual DJ. And now with this, this is all plugged in and the little light, a little light will come on if you get one of these and it'll say that well it's on now. So everything's all plugged in. And now I'm going to show you how to get it in Virtual DJ. Because that seems to be in this is the screen. Mm. And then as you can see I'm using Virtual DJ uh, the, the free version. Because this seems Virtual DJ seems to be the only one that works with this setup. I've tried it with everything, Serato, Itch, uh, Serato DJ, um, Tractor, it doesn't work. Virtual DJ is the only one that has a full interface that actually does this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, Sound Setup, or you're going to go to Config, and go to Sound Setup. And then what you're going to do, you're going to hit Sound Card, and um, well first you're going to go to your output. You're going to go to your output. Usually, um, you won't even have this. Usually, uh, if you don't have anything plugged in at the moment, it won't say it won't give you any of these options. If you plug it in right, it'll give you these options. What we, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit three lines mixer. If it works for you. If it doesn't, then try external mixer or this. And you shouldn't need this unless you're plugging in a big old soundboard, which I doubt it. Unless you're a band. So I'm gonna use three lines mixer, and then you're gonna go to your sound card and select two cards. Uh, plus one should have the little picture. Then you're gonna go to your sound card. Your sound card, mine's audio audio high definition audio device. Yours sometimes people have real tech or anything like that. And I know ASO will work, but I'm not gonna show you that. Now you're gonna high definition audio device and then US audio USB audio codec. And then then you're gonna go to your output, which is right here, and you got six options. And you, if you don't know, my option is the fourth one. If you don't know just keep clicking on them, keep trying it, and if one of them should work, and then click apply. And then click, if you think it didn't work, click apply, click OK, and then we just set it up. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to play some music. And, you know, then we're going to go to this, the loader track up. <coughs> And then hit play. <coughs> and um and as you can see there's sometimes a weird little glitch. And if you hear a little, you know, a little bump or whatever, just try to plug everything in again, so. As you can see, it's still kind of like a little glitched out. You know, you're trying to work the kinks out of this.
you know, it's still kind of a little glitched out. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna, what we're gonna do is it should. Well, the main point is it should work. From what I told you, when I told you what you should have bought, it should have worked. And um, you know, so that's it. You know, the only downside to this. You can't hit the play button. The reason why this is on is because there's a CD in there. You can't hit the play button. As you can see, it's not going to function. It is not going to function. But once you hit this, you know, But the, pretty much, it, it's pretty much like the entire mixer will light up, you know, it'll be like the same, like this, pretty much this works, these two don't. So some of you are wondering, well, you should have made a video on like how to hook up your DJ mixer. Well, some of you don't have just a mixer, some of you have an actual controller. So yeah, so that should that should work guys and if it doesn't go back in the video and try to fix something But it works for me. I plugged some stuff in wrong on accident and it's and it still worked. So yeah, so um, There you go guys. Hope you enjoy this video um, have fun mixing and um, This is for all the digital DJs. I know there's some people are gonna comment. This is not real DJing Well, we live in a digital age now and you gotta let that vinyl stuff go if you still use vinyl that's that's cool but um I like to use a laptop because it's easier. You know, some of you are like, it's not real DJing. Well, we live in a digital age. What are you going to do? You know, so see you guys later.